the horizontal swipe to pivot lunge. So it starts already with a switch behind the back. So let's look at the small details of this exercise. So we're switching hands behind the back in a circular motion this time. Yeah? Imagine you're going to just keep the club going around the body and of course you want to get used to both directions. Okay? This is maybe what you have to practice first to make sure that the switch is happening nice and smoothly behind the back, okay? We're gonna go from a single hand to two hand regrip as the club is going to come over the shoulder and we wanna make sure we catch the club on the meaty part of the shoulder and not the bone, okay? Now, at the same time that we're catching the club, we're gonna move in the same direction, okay? So, we're going from a position where we're squared up facing forward, taking a slight step out to the side, okay? And you want to make it wide enough so you're not in a short stance, you can't really kneel down to the ground. So just a little step out to the side with a foot and then the back foot is simply going to pivot and from here I can come into my kneeling position, okay? Now the kneeling position is up to you, roughly 90 degrees, a bit less, a bit more. You're going to find it, um, you know, what feels best for you as you're doing the exercise. Okay, so again, let's look at it. I switch hands, I carry in with the motion of that circle, and I'm going to come up diagonally, regrip with two hands, step, and come to my lunge. Okay? From here, I'm going to stand up and square up again. See this? Boom. Switch the grip, go to the other side. So I do a slight step out and slight step in when I come out of the position again. And about the lunges, you want to make sure for the first that you've got a nicely padded surface to do them on and you only take them to the depth that feels comfortable for you. So for some people it might simply be a step. So we're here. So we're coordinating the lower body with the upper body, decelerating the forces of the swing and getting some nice rotation right through the spine. Now make sure that when you end up in the, uh, in the end position of the, of the swing that you're not looking here but looking ahead or slightly over your front knee. 